is going to be a technical overview video for the Reaper Gen 2. So, uh, the Reaper is a design we've had out for about three years now. It's done really well for us. A lot of people really like this design, but uh, we thought it was time for a refresh. I wanted to improve on some things that we've learned over the years with the Reaper. So, there are two main things that we've done with the Reaper Gen 2. We've improved the loading mechanics and we've improved the tuning. So those of you that are familiar with the Reaper, this is going to look real similar. It looks almost identical from the outside. It'll have a different engraving on the back side here that says Gen 2. But overall, it looks almost identical. So, the cylinder is interchangeable with the original. That is the same. Once we take it off, you'll notice a few things. First off, there's now an O-ring on this post right here. Second, we have this spring inside, which the original does not have. So, uh, what we've done is, in, now instead of the nozzle being moved in both directions solely by air, the nozzle is actually cycled forward now by a spring, which sits in the back of the nozzle right here. And then it's cycled back by air pressure. Now, the reason for this is these right here. By using a spring, we get consistent loading force, regardless of operating pressure. It means that the nozzle, the force that the nozzle loads the BB with is the same regardless of the pressure you're operating with. And it also lets it match it, match the loading force almost exactly to what AEGs use, uh, which is what most hop-ups are designed for. So it gives you better uh, compatibility with um, with aftermarket hop-ups. From a tuning standpoint, what it lets us do is we no longer will use the black and white uh, nozzles and the purple and black cages. Everything will use a single nozzle and cage design. So tuning it for extra long barrels can be accomplished by simply installing a different spring. Almost all guns, unless you're using something over a 509 millimeter barrel, or possibly a little shorter if you're using wide bore. Everything under that is going to use the standard spring configuration. Longer than that, you'll simply have to swap out the spring to get the most out of the system. Other than that, many parts are compatible. The solenoids are identical, airlines are identical, the cylinder is identical, and the cage we use inside is actually the same purple cage that we used on the original Reaper. Nozzles have been updated, you have the new spring inside, and the valve housing is updated as well. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.